Hey YouTube family, so it's your girl Allie and today we're going to talk about some arm lipo and if you guys are new to this channel and you guys are not aware I did get a BBL done recently with arm lipo and chin lipo but today we're going to talk about arm lipo solely just because I got a few questions about it and in my next video we're going to talk about just chin you guys were asking me is uh, what were my measurements before and after unfortunately I did not measure myself before but my best friend just gave me this so I can measure it now. So this one is still small. Well, both of them are. They're still pretty rock hard. But this one, a lot more. You guys can see it knotted up. Oh my god, it looks so scary. And this is just because I didn't wear my lipo foam throughout the day. Normally it looks way, way better and smoother with the foam. And if you guys did not see in the previous video, in my update, I showed you guys how to use the lipo foams in your faja and if not i will post it somewhere where you guys can see it but let's try to measure my arm and mind you i'm about 37 38 days out of surgery post-op so let's see so today about 38 days post-op 10. So my left arm measures at 10. Let's see what my right arm is. My right arm has been better than the left one. It didn't drain as much. It's not hurting. The only time it hurts is really when I'm like, I sleep. I guess I sleep bad on this arm. I sleep like this. So that's the only pain I really got from the arm like the, It's just bad sleeping. And for this one, to me, I said it's not as swollen and not as bad. This one actually measured more. But this one's actually right at like 10 and a half. Right here. So my right arm is measuring a little bit bigger than the left one. When in reality, I thought the left one was, you know, more swollen and just looks more crazy right now. Because it's like all bumpy than this one. So those are my measurements. I got this one measuring at 10, this one measuring at 10 and a half. Another question that I've been receiving is what am I wearing for my arms? So the first stage or the first garment that I started wearing was one from Mia. This is the one I got from Mia. It's basically just on your arms and it hooks at the bottom for a bra. The brand that Mia sells is body shape tech so if you want to get it from Mia or you want to get it from them and the size I wore was an extra large and I'm gonna tell you in the beginning when I went for pre-op to fit this I was like there is no way in hell this is actually gonna fit so like I struggled it wouldn't even buckle like my arms were like struggling to get in and I'm like this this is definitely not gonna fit and the lady's like no it's gonna fit don't worry the arm light bills you're gonna be extra small and shockingly this like is super big well it's not super big but it's big on me now it's not it doesn't fit the way it used to be so i don't i stopped wearing this one but i'm gonna show you how it fits so i wore my faja then i put this one on top it looks kind of snug right now but all this extra space there was like no extra space back then like it was it was super tight so i'm trying to bring it all the way to the top and I'll grab these two ends and it goes under your boob which you guys can't really see I'm trying to stand on my tippy toes so you guys can see so I hooked it and I started off on the first row there's two rows for it so then I just put under and then I adjusted it and this is how I was for the first three weeks in this faja, well, this, this garment for arms. And the reason why I stopped wearing this one was because my faja that I started wearing from the Colombians, if you guys have not seen my other video, the faja was, had a built-in sleeves. So I started using that. And then starting on my third, fourth week, I started using foams from Mia. So these extra little foams that I was using for my stomach, 
I stopped using these because I got the 360 lipo foam and I didn't want to throw these away. My massage lady told me just cut them in half and put them in your faja and it's gonna help compress your arms, which it did amazingly. It really, really works. But like I said, unfortunately I can't show you guys the results right now because I didn't wear them today because I went to work and I didn't want to look so bulky. So these, I just slide them in on both sides and let them compress. I use them every night and I try to use it in throughout the day if I'm not at work. So these don't throw away, cut them in half. They're not perfectly in half, but cut them in half somehow and stuff them in. In the beginning, I have sticks help me put them in until they kind of stretched the file and I could easily put it by myself. So I'll be inserting some of these pictures from my befores. Uh, I think it was maybe uh, two or three days before surgery, Styx and I ended up taking pictures in this dress. So we can show you guys before is an afters in this one outfit. So here you can see my armor before. You can see they were a little bit, you know, fat. They're not extremely fat, but I still wanted an arm like, but for the price that Mia charges, it was, you know, it was a no brainer, might as well. And that's why I added a chin also. So the next question is, how do your scars look? How do your arms look? How do you feel about it? So I'm gonna take this off and I'm gonna show you guys closely what it looks like. Like I said, it's really, really lumpy. So let's start with this one. This one's not as bad. So this is what this uh, right arm looks like. It's not super, super lumpy like the other one. I don't mind my armpit. <laughs> so little by little, the lumps are going away. The massage lady says I don't have fibrosis so on lower parts of my body. Um, the incision, it's right, here. Oh, it's right here. This right there. This is the incision. So only one hole for your arms. So this part is still kind of fat, I guess. But all this is like super hard. But this one, oh my lord, this one is like a train wreck. And I try to stretch as much as possible. And you can see right here, this right here is the incision. This is where they took the fat out. You can tell it's all lumpy. And the reason why is also just because I haven't been to my massage place since Thursday. And today is Tuesday, so it's been about four or five days. And normally I was going every day. So that's my update on my arms. Maybe about four or five weeks out, and I, they just started using the roller on my arms because it, it was it wasn't super painful like I thought it was, like it was what it was gonna be. But she just kept going. She was like, "Nope, your arms have to be really, really good." There, we had to get little lumps out. The good thing is, she said there's no fibrosis. She says the closest part to my body that was gonna get fibrosis was this arm right here. This is the one that's been giving me hell, or giving the ladies hell. They've been, you know, massaging me constantly. They use all these oils and, um, you know, anti-inflammatory creams, and lotions to get rid of all these lumps and pain. Well, it's not really pain, but I'm gonna show you a uh, in-home remedy that another massage lady told me to start doing. So I, I put it in the morning when I have time, but I also use it religiously at night. So once I get out the shower, I mix this cream up and then I apply it to my arms, my stomach, and I try to do a self massage every night. So let me show you how to make it. So this is a little plastic bottle that I mix all the creams and oils in and apply it religiously every night. I got this little plastic bottle from the restaurant. I recycle plastics and it comes in handy. So it looks pretty nasty, but I mix everything in and then I just shake it so everything mixes or I grab a little fork or spoon and just mix it. So I'm gonna show you guys what I use every night to help. And it really does help. So 
So the first ingredients I've used for the mix are the Nivea or Nivea, however you guys call it, lotions. These both are oil infused lotion, the vanilla and almond oil. And this is the orchid and argan oil. And then that's that one. So this one's kind of empty because I was using this one at first. And then I just started mixing both of them. She told me to get this brand specifically because it's really, it works really, really well and they have great reviews. So in the bottom in the description, I have the links below so you guys can purchase these and try it out yourself. So the next two ingredients are jojoba oil, if I'm saying that right, and vitamin E oil. So this is the jojoba oil, if that's how you say it, and the vitamin E oil that I got. I'll also put the links below so you guys can purchase them. And these both are four fluid ounces. So I just, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys, I don't even, you know, measure it correctly. I just dab, dab, and I just go on. But I squeeze it for about like five seconds on each one, and that's about it. So those are the four ingredients that you mix in this bottle, or you can use whatever bottle plastic that you have, and just keep it. Like I said, I don't know exactly how much I pour of each one. I don't pour the whole lotion bottle in here also. I just, you know, squirt about 10, you know, or put 10 pumps of each one, uh, both lotions, and then mix it. And then I just keep making more mixes later if I just run down. So. I don't know if you guys can see, but this is how it looks. It looks like milk. And it's very, very runny. So I'm just gonna get a little bit and show you guys the texture. So I just mix it and I make sure I put it in my arms. My arms are like number one. The lady says this also helps with incisions so they can clear up faster with vitamin E since it's really good on the skin and so is the jojoba oil. So while you do, while you go ahead and apply the mixture on your body, make sure you're doing your, you know, self massages. Just rub and do a lot of stretches. She always told me, you know, you gotta always move your arms constantly um, get your arm behind your neck and stretch as far as you can. She said yes, massage is key, but also stretching at home is, you know, you have to do your part. All right guys, so that's all the questions and answers for this video that I have for our update. So if you guys have any other questions, message me or I can try to create another video later on. But if you guys are new to this channel, go ahead and like the video, subscribe, and be part of our YouTube family. And just keep your eyes out for the next video.